Matthew is actually not bad. All right, I like the sound of that. Two kills on the board here. First was me, second. Do I give him the spectator curse? He's got plates back. Nah, he's a bot. This guy didn't even see this guy running next to him. I think he's AFK, actually. Speaking of which, all right, I'm gonna... You guys spectate him AFK while I'm AFK. I'm gonna go get my food. Five minutes later. He's camping it? Dude, this guy's camping harder than me. I don't know how people are gonna have fun sitting in one spot the whole game. Well, you gotta think, this guy's probably... You know, it's probably like the guy we spectated earlier. He's probably taking care of his kid. He's like, you know what? I'm just gonna go now. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, they're probably the wife on something. Honey, can you come over here and do some dishes? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. And then he goes over, does a couple dishes, you know, makes her happy, and then boom, comes back over. He's like, okay, now I'm, look at this. Now I'm top, top 50 situation. It just depends. You know, he's probably just, he's probably like half AFK. He's probably on TikTok right now, scrolling through some, uh, uh, some other girls' pages because he's not happy with the wife. You know, he's probably scrolling through a couple different pages. He's just hoping that his wife doesn't come over and actually look at his TikTok feed. You know? Now he's dead. Oh! It's the new gun! This is the new submachine gun here. He's nine kills on board with it as well, ladies and gentlemen. And he's comboing it with the STG. Oh, damn. Did we just find a banging video? Oh, yeah. He's got clean line of sight from up there. That guy had nowhere to run to. Great angle. Great roof control. Taking the primo spot up in peak. Ten kills. Oh! He gets cover. He goes down. Oh, he's keeping it alive. Still here. Still standing. Diamond STG, by the way. Big flexor over here. I like how this guy's name is Snake, and he's got a skin that looks like a snake on his gun, on the new gun, too. It's a nice touch. I respect it. He's climbing back for height here. This is actually kind of a... This is a good counter spot to the circle ring up here, and he gets the kill on the guy up there. Damn, man. That was like a probably 70, 80 meter, at least, STG kill. You don't need a sniper. Oh, eat some shots on the way in. Go with tempered, gets a nice replay. This guy's a paid actor? No, I'm not actually paying him anything, but he is doing all the work. I'm just sitting here. Get tied on him, back to the spot! Cannot quite wall that. He actually can jump onto this rock right ahead of him here and get a good counter spot. Make sure he's back in his 3x. He slows him down a little by doing that, but... Now he's in the counter. Now he's got it! Wow. I feel like it's no doubt that this is better than running a sniper, right? It's just, uh, with with the amount of nerfs and everything, that I, I still am running sniping, and I still love sniping. Like, it sucks that it's way worse than it was before, but it's hard to argue with this type of damage from these ranges. It's just so hard to argue that, like, oh, yeah, the sniper. Uh, it was already hard before they were nerfed, too. Like, I and even the health pool changes. I felt like... Our SMG was already pretty primo. Like, I don't know. But damn, this is a uh, this is impressive right here. Hunting the bounty, easy cash. In this game, when you are prone like that, sometimes it works out, but if somebody's hunting you. And they're even half decent. That's why you see a lot of people moving around more so than staying prone somewhere. Because you do kind of stand out. Not always. Sometimes you can stay in a bush pretty well. But if they are already suspect of you being there and they're checking all the bushes and uh, for players, you, you kind of do stand out, man. You kind of want to be a little bit more mobile and dodging and ready to react or holding an angle, keeping a Betty or something down on an interior building. It can be a lot better to defend or if you're being the offender... Sometimes in this game, being offense is better for defense. This is the new submachine gun, the H4 Blixen we're spectating right here. We're going to give this a try tomorrow, I think. Of course, he's using it with the STG, which is 
honestly impressing me even more right now. This is like 120 meters away. He's got the crack. Goes for the reload. He's running a 50 rounder as well with it. Combat scout can shoot through that wood. Runs out. Doesn't quite get the knock. Oh. No crack on it. Closes distance a little more. Oh my goodness, the headshots. He's putting out so much damage, even with the 50 rounder too. I thought the 60 rounder was the play now, but. Eats another snipe. Makes the cover. I think this guy might be running Serpentine, too. I don't actually know, though, but... If you're running Serpentine, you have even have that one-shot headshot immunity that... Oh, man. That makes it pretty good. Fargo's a faster sniper. Oh, hello! Oh, good dodge out here. Back to sprint stims out as well. Could get a tempered replay, but focuses the shots instead. Gets huge crack on him. Now he could go for the replay here as he positions out. Great disengage. Now, both of these guys are not in zone. And they could be potentially getting third party. If I'm this guy, I'm trying to think, how do I get to zone and hold this guy out? I Honestly, if I'm either of the players, I would be focusing on zone positioning and going for a holdout. I like Snake's idea here, though. He takes the balloon. In case this guy is going for a holdout, he flies over him, goes to height. Even though it's outside zone, it's going to give him the reposition here that this guy cannot anticipate. 14 kills on board, top 10 situation. Come on, man. Let's see the win. He's got a ton of cash here. Probably could buy UAV. Pop one, hold one, maybe pop one, hold an airstrike. Yeah, probably pop one, hold one on a UAV would be ideal, but it's going to be risky going for a buy late game. He doesn't he doesn't go for it. Instead, ideally focusing on positioning, which I like this even better, actually. If he can get up onto this hill, this is going to be the power position here. And he's sweeping across here, which hopefully on the flank, if it catches out where people are, one on top of water tower, which is in shooting down to low ground here. Tower can definitely hold his position, so he goes for shots on the tower first. Not quite getting the knockout, which now blows his cover. And if that tower guy didn't knock the guy low ground left, he's in a pinch. Checking that left side out here as he goes for the rotate. He didn't! Sniper up on top hill. But if this guy goes to the tip top hill, he's going to be exposed to water tower. I'm not even seeing where these shots are coming in from either. Now being forced to wrap a little bit other direction. Water tower still not looking down towards either side. He sees the shot. There it is. Great connections. Perfect lasers. Out of the game. Combat scout. As usually in that first shot, makes it so crystal clear where to shoot. It's amazing, actually. Really don't use it too often, but with the SMG AR combo, it's looking good. Checking the top spot there, making sure nobody peeks off it. Low ground shots. Down below, spots one. Serpentine covers him, but still manages to shoot through it. Cover on the flank. He's pushing out. He sees Sniper on the high left. He might have had a low FOV. I saw that immediately, though. It might have been out of his FOV range. Sniper connects off him on the sky. Out of plates now. Had one knock here. Needs to get the finish. Now exposed on that left side, though, off top hill. If that guy looks down on him. Spots one on the back. Connections off of it. Swapping over. Ooh, good crack, but the Serpentine keeps that guy alive as he continues to push, gets the full out. Pretty quick swap over to the new SMG as well, even back to the uh, SDG here. Oh, but here's the low ground player. Stim popped out. He doesn't have any plates to get the reset now in a deficit. Stuck between the vehicle, wraps it around. He does need to drop his plate box, or excuse me, his ammo box down to refill the stims, as well as get ammo back. Oh, sniper from up top. That was the one from earlier. Not connecting on him, though. So he keeps it alive. Going for the bush rotation outside. No plates. It's a big problem. Sniper now up in the top right as well. He is in zone here if he goes prone. But no, he's still exposed. Does he have the angle? His feet are sticking out. 
Kind of want to lay a little bit there. He got a little bit more at this angle. Should get, he sees him at the tree. Eats a sniper shot, but he's connecting for the counter shots. That's more important. As soon as you start counter shooting the sniper rifle, it forces big flinch on that sniper to where they cannot get the connection. Good connections here with the combat scout revealing a bit of the position. Can't walk it all the way down, though. Enemy is running away and gets the kill. Huge kill clearing this right side of the zone. He's got to worry about that left side sniper from earlier, as well as the low ground. He sees one up top. That's going to be the sniper, but there should still be one more unless that was the trade. It's 1v1. This is the last player. No plates. He spots the high ground here. This guy was the sniper from earlier, so does he go for the no plate push? He doesn't really have an option. Going for the loot off that right guy is not to play. He's got to see if he can connect to Semtex to get the initial crack and follow up with the push of that SMG or even keep the range STG. He knows this guy is sniping, so if he can just land one or two shots to what I was just talking about, forces the flinch. He's not going to be able to keep the shots on for the connection headshot on the counterplay, but he's very weak to that high. He could go for the Semtex throw up to that top hill, clear that sector. Oh, he's going down for the loot from earlier. That could be the huge come up he needs. Get some plates. A little bit of the gas mask tick here, but it's going to keep him stealth so he doesn't cough. And now he's back to full health. He's going to feel way more confident in this one. Now I would take that high hill on that left side. Oh, he saw him on the low right. I think he saw him on the low right there. Prone on the low right, maybe. Oh, I don't know. By that bush. No, okay, that's just a tree stump. That's just a tree. Oh, no, it is him. It's him. He's on your low right. Oh, my God. Turn. Check your right. Check your right. Oh, no. He gets the cover. Stims out going for low ground rotation. Didn't spot it. I thought it was a tree stump because the guy wasn't moving, but it was. Gets back to low ground. He can get another tempered replay, but he goes for the shots up top of the crack. And there's the knock. The huge reset. He doesn't even need the plate because he's in his shots, baby. <coughs> oh, my gosh, man. Well done. Well done. That got a little risky. This guy was playing so passively, though, on the 1v1. That other guy looking around, not checking his angles either. Whew. Great come up on a lot of those, man. Curious if he was running Serpentine there. Let's get a little post-game interview. And the new gun, man. Snake, what a dub, my guy. First of all, were you running Serpentine in that game? Because you had a lot of great escapes. No, man, but thanks. What, are you running quick fix for it? Uh, I run... I don't remember. Kill. Uh, Anyways, how are you feeling the about the part. new submachine gun? It's uh, meta for sure, brother. Oh, ho, ho, and that SDG was looking very clean for you. Tons of kills. Anything to say to the fans back home? Uh, no. GG's. Well done, man. Very well done. Got to spectate a lot of that game from him there and uh, see the effectiveness of that combination. The submachine gun countering plenty of snipers through that game. Plenty of the close range, comboing the stems. Surprised he's not running Serpentine. I got to imagine it's quick fix. Maybe it's cold blooded. He can't even remember. He was talking about the perk slot too with that overkill. Might have been a little bit too in his head after such a massive dub. Obviously, a lot of adrenaline pumping through the veins there. Uh, but yeah, my guess is that he was probably, maybe he even ru was running double time. I don't know. But either way, huge play for him there and bringing home a nice dub. Great reaction timing there on top of uh, just being a quality player and it, just a gentleman, as you can see there. That's why the fans love him back home. GG's. Oh, it's the new gun. This is the new submachine gun here. Oh, no, it is him. It's him. He's on your low right. Oh, my God. Turn. Oh, no. Close this distance a little more. Oh, my goodness. 